This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Navin here. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs and welcome back to JavaScript series. So today I'm going to cover one very important topic, how to clone an object in JavaScript. So there are various ways of cloning the object. Cloning means copy an object to another object, right? So let's see how to do that. So I'll create a, let's see, clone object dot js file i'll be creating and i'll create a first i'll create an object let's see circle object is equal to let's see and i'll define some properties over here that uh, circle uh, radius is equal to one and i'll create one draw function also and which is printing something console.log and then let's see it's printing our draw function simple okay uh, object that i've created now what i'll do i want to clone it right i want to clone it so how to clone the first thing is that you can do it with the help of okay with the help of for in method i mean for in loop how to do that so let's see i'll create one another uh, object it's a blank object okay like this let's see it's a blank object i want to clone it over here right so this is a blank object i have created and then what i want i want to clone circle to another so how to do that i'll simply use a for loop let key in and circle over here like that and then i simply say that this is another define the key as a bracket notation is equal to whatever the circle key is there right like that and then I try to print console.log. I try to print another over here. And then we will see what exactly <clears throat> the properties. So initially another was blank. And then with the help of this particular for loop, we are fetching, enumerating all the values from the circle, all the properties from the circle. And one by one, we are filling over here in this another object, right? So that's why I covered enumeration is very important. So if you don't know how to enumerate, how to traverse all the properties using the foreign loop, please watch the previous video. Now you run it again. So I simply write node, and then you see I'm getting over here, this another object is radius draw function draw, right? And then if you try to print another over here, okay, initially it was blank, and after filling the value, let's run it again. See, initially it was blank. And after filling the value, we have cloned it actually. So all the circle properties got into over here. Okay, in a new object, another object. So we started with the blank object and then we filled all the values over here like that. This is the, this is the old way of doing it. But nowadays, what exactly we can do? Something like this. The second, second thing is we can do something. Let me comment this guy. I create the second way is using there is another way using object dot assign method. Now, what is it? Object dot assign method. Object dot assign method says that okay, I simply create object dot assign method is there, and in this particular assign method, you can say that okay, hey, this is your target. So I'll create my target. Let's see, this is my target object. From where you want to, this is my source like this. That's it. So this is my blank object initially I've created. And this is my circle object that I want to, that is my source. I want to copy from here to here. And then this will return, let's see, another constant object is equal to this. That's it. And then you try to print console.log another, and then you will see the output. You see, same. So this is a single line also, you can do it like that, right? We have another way of doing it. Let's see, it's not about only blank object you can pass. You can create, a, instead of blank object, you can pass one object having a specific property also. So how would you do that? So let's see, I simply write, uh, let's see, object dot assign. And here, I'll do one thing, instead of this blank object, what I'll pass, I'll pass some uh, 
value over here, let's see, this particular object is having already one value, price, or let's see, color property. Okay, color is equal to, let's see, red color, like that. Okay, this red color property is already there. And then, like this, and then comma, circle. So what will happen? And then you assign in constant, let's see, another one is equal to this. And what is another one now? So what will happen? This another one <coughs> will be having circle properties as well as the red property was already there. So either you pass the blank object or you pass one object which is already having one color property. And then, okay, this is your source object. All the circle objects properties will be given to, okay, will be given to this particular object which is already having, okay, color property and then I'll store in another one and then you print it on the console. So let's see what exactly you're getting. Oops, sorry, one second. Let's go capital. Let's run it again. Now you see that another one is color red is already there and radius one and draw function, which is coming from circle object. Now with this particular another one a dot, if you really want to print a draw function, you want to call draw function, you can call draw function and draw function will be called console.log. So if you run it again, you see it's printing draw over here. It means because all the properties will be given to another one. So there are two objects guys like that. This is a circle object having some properties over here. I have created another object and cloning all the objects properties to this guy. And there are two choices either the blank object is there. This is a blank object. And one property was already there. And these two properties I'll give it to, I'll be giving to this guy. So like that also. So this property was already there plus these two properties. So now we have three properties, color red, radius one and one function. So this is called cloning of the object. But there is one more easy way to do that of cloning. So I do one thing, I just comment all these guys. The third way, third way is very simple. I simply using spread dot 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 operator, three dots. This is a spatial operator. <clears throat> okay, it's using spread operator. So how to use spread operator? Simple write let's see constant another is equal to simple write bracket, simple write dot dot dot, and then you simple write circle. That's it. So dot 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 what exactly it will do it will behave like a blank object and then store all the properties of circle to a blank object and then you print another over here console.log another and then let's see right so, so what we have learned Using spread operator, you can do that. This is called spread operator in JavaScript. Three dots and pass the source object and then store in some other object and then print it. And then if you really want to access another dot, whatever the property you want to access, let's see another dot draw, you want to call. So draw will be printed on the console. Okay, let me run it again. See, draw is getting printed. The draw function we are calling and draw function is having console dot draw. So like that also you can simply clone the objects. Simple. So remember these three things are important for interview point of view. People might ask you that how to clone, what are the different ways of cloning the object in JavaScript? One is simple. The first one, as I told you, using the for loop, you, you can iterate one by one using the for, for in loop and then use the bracket notation and then assign to the another key and then print it on the console and then access the value. Second one is object dot assign method is available. You can pass the blank value as well as you can pass the existing properties values also. And an object also you can pass. So you can pass the blank object as well as an object that's already having one property and pass all the circle properties to the to this particular object. This is the second one. And the third one is using spread operator. You can do it like that. Okay. So that's all for this particular video guys and I hope you guys are learning JavaScript.
and please keep watching please don't skip any video in javascript i'm putting a lot of efforts okay to prepare this content so that you guys can learn the best way of learning javascript right so thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs and please click on subscribe button if you are really liking this particular series thank you so much guys